Hi everyone. Today's video is part of the Vizim Basics series. Today we discuss links and connectors. What you need to do is you left click on and select a links object with control held down with the right, uh, right mouse button. You just drag it the way you want. It creates a link, it brings up the, the window where you can set up the settings. You can increase the number of lanes. If you go to the lanes uh, tab here, you can change the width. You can change the lane changing. Uh, you can bend basically the lane change for all vehicles or here for certain vehicle classes. And I think at this stage, probably the other important thing is the gradient. You can set the gradient here. Vizim uses this by default. But you can also model a Z offset start, a Z offset end. If you want to uh, visualize it in 3D, then you basically need to set up your Z offset uh, start and end. And you can also use a thickness in order to take that into account. Base data, network settings, and here you select link gradient is based on Z coordinates. By default, it is set to gradient attribute. Okay. In a network, you usually need more than one link. So let me just reduce the number of lanes here. So let's say if you want to use uh, like a little RAM, let me just put another link there. I put it to three lanes. And in order to connect it, you do exactly the same as you do with the links. You just start it over an existing one, then it creates a connector. And if you finish it on another existing link, it will be a connector, basically. You release it. So as you can see, it's a correct connector window. Here you can set up the number of links you want to model. So you want, uh, sorry, which links you want to connect. So this is from link. You want to connect lane 3 and 4 to the in on the new link to lane number 2 and 3. And then there you are. You can drag it around. Like that. Move it around. You can also move it onto another one. Then of course it reuses the width. Um, the connector will pick up the height set up on the link. So if you have a Z offset start at 10 here, it will, the connector will jump up to 10. Uh, let me just show that. You can do it here. You can set the 10 up here. Or you can double click on that one. <laughs> and do that. And in that case, if I go to 3D, you can see it. there is a jump in it. Um, there is a very important setting you need to be aware if you go to connectors for every connector there is a default setting for emergency stop distance it is set to 5 and the, uh, the lane change distance set to 200 so the emergency stop distance is when a vehicle comes drives in this link sorry this lane here and if it can't change lane it will stop five meter before and wait until there is a gap so it can change your lane change your lanes to use that connector this 200 meter the lane change instance that basically tells the vehicle when to start and how much in advance it should start changing lanes so if I measure it it basically start changing lanes in this in this location if it already drives on those two lanes, like here or here, it's not going to do anything because it's already there. Or sorry, it will make sure that it doesn't leave those lanes. So if there is a vehicle, a slow vehicle here, it's not going to overtake. So if it drives here, it's not going to overtake that vehicle in that lane. It's not going to leave, so it, it will stay within that. And if it drives here, 200 meters, before it will start changing lanes. And if it can't, it will drive up to that five meter 
distance, state, and then it will get one. For connectors, you can also set a lot of uh, intermediate points, or you can just set it here to 10, and you can recalculate it. Like uh, You can recalculate it, and it will ask if you to adjust the height as well. In this case, I'm not. I don't want to. So you see it, uh, it looks like that. So I don't want to dwell on this video a lot more. This is just a basic one. I hope you found it useful. I only showed you the basic settings. Let me know in the comment if there is any question or query. We will look into the other settings in another video, probably like in an intermediate one, or it will also be shown in, in other um, setups, what I do in other models, let's say intersection modeling in something. You can also see what I use, what I do, how to set up behavior, driving behavior and all the other settings. Uh, in the next video, we will carry on with the other objects. Hope you found it useful. Please consider like and subscribe if you like, and uh, leave your comment. And let me know what you think, what are your suggestions, or any questions. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time.